everyone, David Bommel coming to you from Cisco Live in the learning and certification area at Cisco Live. Really excited to be talking with Joe once again. Joe, previously when we spoke, you told us about the new CCNA and a bunch of other certifications. I believe there's more happening now. There is. In fact, it seems like we're always talking about certification back in 2019 and now here. Um, so yeah, we are keeping our certification portfolio fresh. That's that's the goal. We've yeah. heard from our, our community that they need new skills and we need to assert that they have those skills. And the thing that keeps coming up time and time again is cloud. How does Cisco play in the cloud? Yeah. We're not necessarily a public cloud provider, but our infrastructure makes cloud happen. So what we've done is we've looked at how do we play, how do we best fit in the cloud? And we've released or announced three new certifications. Oh, wow. Okay. One in the enterprise professional track about cloud connectivity. And of course, secure cloud connectivity is implied there. Then one in the security track, which is about securing the user and the endpoint experience. So just real quick on that one. I'm, at, I'm Joe Clark, I'm here at Cisco Live. I might need to access Office 365 with my Cisco account. Yep. How do I ensure that the policies and the, and the security that IT needs to provide, how do I ensure that that is consistent here or whether or not I'm in my home office yep. or I'm back in the Cisco campus, that is a critical skill. So that's what that uh, cloud security certification is about. And then the latest one we announce is in our service provider track, and that is about building cloud infrastructure. Okay. So if you're at a large enterprise, for example, and you're like, I want to build a cloud for our users, our internal people, or maybe our customers. So it's like on-prem cloud, right? An on like taking the data center to the cloud level, thinking okay. in a cloud oh, okay, a get it, yeah. mentality, yep. methodologies, scaling, automation, how do we assure and operate uh, that environment. So those are the three new uh, cloud-centric certifications we've got coming up. First data test for those is going to be around September of this year timeframe. So give me the titles for, for the three of them, if you don't mind. Sure. We have Enterprise uh, Cloud Connectivity. Yeah. So that's Enterprise Track Cloud Connectivity is the name of this uh, certification. Then in the security track, we have securing the cloud for users and endpoints. Okay. So it's about the, the, the hosts, like I said, the users, the policy, uh, being able to do things with like Umbrella, Zero Trust, Duo, right. that type of thing. And in the service provider track, it's cloud infrastructure. So it's SPCI is the abbreviation there. And that's about applying that cloud thinking to building out your data center in a cloud centric way. So all NP level, right? All professional level. Absolutely. Yeah. And has Cisco put like the blueprints and stuff on the website? The blueprints are already out. We've got them on our infographic here at Cisco Live. Um, so you can go and look at what the exam topics are going to be. We're working on course content for those right now okay. internally and with our learning partners, so look for that as well. And as I mentioned, first data test will be in the September timeframe. Perhaps you can give us a topic from each of those that you find really interesting or exciting. Yeah, so in we, we met with our uh, CCIE Advisory Council on yep. Saturday here, and some of the feedback we got is cloud needs to be more agnostic. We, we can't necessarily always ground ourselves in, in specific Cisco technology. Yep. And so in the cloud connectivity, the first two domains are about general architecture and applying general cloud concepts. Yep. So you look at things like, what is the right way to connect into this cloud? Is it like a native IPsec to yep. the cloud provider, or are we going to do something like SASE with a uh, a Cisco Catalyst virtual uh, router in the cloud. Yeah. On the security side, the thing that really spoke to me, and the and, and a reason I wanted them to ground it with things like users and endpoints, was how do we do that policy? How do we ensure that experience of the user is going to be secure and consistent wherever they are? And the cert I think I like the most is the service, pro the one that I think I might get is the service provider one, because First of all, it speaks to my operations background. Yep. SNMP, NetConf, RESTConf, yep. yep. NSO show up there. But I think it's the thing I like the most is it takes what you know about the network infrastructure and forces you to think in that hyperscale cloud mentality. Sounds really exciting. Yeah, I'm thanks. looking forward to getting those certs. So just for everyone who's watching, I'm going to do what I think maybe call the boomer cert roadmap or something where I do a whole bunch of Cisco certs. So Perhaps I can get these as well. Yeah. Put in the comments below what you think. I've put links below to the various blueprints. Joe, thanks so much for sharing. David, thanks for uh, asking me to talk to you. That's, That's brilliant, man. Ready yeah. to see you again. Yeah, you too.